Hello everybody, welcome to or back to my channel, get in place. <sighs> okay, today is a day and it is another day that I need to thank the sponsor of this video before we get started and that one is book of the month. So I am very excited for book of the month because both of the books that I got this month, personally, y'all, I'm so hyped for. They are two of the reads that I have wanted to read the most. Uh, one of them I've known about, the other one was brand new to me, but it looks so good and I have only seen good things about it and I'm so excited. But before we get ahead of ourselves, which I already did, let's get into what book of the month even is. So book of the month is a online book service where they sort through hundreds of new releases every single month to bring you the best picks. This could range from five to seven different picks that month. You select which one sounds best to you, thus making it your book of the month. And then if you are like me and one is just not enough and there are multiple releases that are interesting to you, you can definitely pick a few as your add-on for a very reasonable and very good price. And I do recommend because you're getting hardcover new release books at a fraction of the price that would be in the bookstore like the bookstore prices, they're high. They are. But book of the month, I mean, right there, I, I don't think you could beat it. I really don't. So this month, like I said, I got a little romance fantasy. I got a little thriller. I'm very excited for both of them. And if you are getting your book of the month box, let me know down below which ones you got. And if you would like to get a box, use my code, my link, all that good stuff will be in the description. And thank you once again to a book of the month for sponsoring today's video. And let's get into it. Hello, Mary Chrysler. Um, actually it's day after Christmas and we're starting the vlog now because Barnes is having a sale. Now, it is 33% off, but, 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 it is $20 back every 50 you spend. And I have $85 in rewards and then I've got a gift card I did just get another gift card yesterday, but I accidentally forgot it back at my dad's place, so <laughs> whoops. But we have the other one. We will go forth. We are going to buy some books today. Just any of the new releases that I really want to read. I'm really going to be looking at thrillers, mysteries of the such, and yeah. Then we have a lot, a lot of work to get done today, so I'll come home and we'll talk about all of that. But I'm going out into the world. <laughs> This is the fit. <laughs> I think I'm ready.
Hello. Oh God. Hello. Everybody. Hello, Jake. Hello, buddy. Okay, let's... Oh, he's right there. That's good. That's okay, right? This is an okay angle. I hope. So I am obviously home. I've been home for hours at this point. I did get on a, like, work productive... Oh my god. Why are the words so far away from my brain? Uh, FaceTime. Hangout sesh with the bestie. So... I was doing that and I edited the vlog for today. I'm just waiting for that approval for it to go up on Patreon. And then we got some stuff planned out for the Patreon, which is exciting for 2024. And yeah, I think it's just gonna be a good little time there. But I wanted to show you the little books that I got today. So Barnes obviously had their sale. And so what I got, were well two of them i just wanted to read soon and actually i wanted to read all of them soon i guess is not a good descriptor all of the loan holds for these were long except for one of them i just saw uh one of the youtubers i like watching got it so it's like okay well we have very very similar tastes so i'll probably end up enjoying it this freaking sunscreen is making my glasses Slide and glide. Okay. So that one is a river of golden bones. First of all, I mean, just the cover alone is definitely a sell, but there's got like, you know, a sleeping curse, a fallen court, a secret twin, like just that little thing gave me enough, but it is a proclaimed romanticy trilogy. Do love a trilogy? I really do. And I love romanticy. So I'm excited for this one and it's a short romanticy which i don't feel like is very common i feel like a lot of romanticies they are over here with like six seven hundred page books and sometimes i just really feel like that doesn't need to be the case this one is 373 that's a nice number to me then of course it's release day i did pick up my copy of ruthless vows by rebecca ross i will be reading this in the new year not right now because I want to finish the books that I'm currently reading, which we'll get into in a second. Then I did finally pick up a copy of Remarkably Bright Creatures for myself. The library loan is being summoned back. I like the feeling of this book. And from what I've read of it, I think I'm gonna really love it. So I went ahead and just secured one for my collection with this sale. And then last, but certainly not least, I picked up a copy of The Last Devil to Die. I am on The Man Who Died Twice currently, but I really like this. I think cozy mysteries that have older people and or moms solving the crimes, something I love. I think it's great. Or if there's an animal involved, but that's, that's a true cozy mystery trope. So that's usually there, but I'm excited for this. I heard people cry. Can't wait to do that too. I bet I will. I'm gonna give it a little time <laughs> before I pick it up, just given things that have happened. But I do think that this is a good little stack of books and I am very happy with my little haul. So now that we have those all organized and set up right here, I'm going to fill up my water and we are going to get back to Finishing off the currently reading shelf that I have got ever growing over on Goodreads because I really want to enter the year with like a fresh set of books. So two or no, yeah, two books I know I'm not going to finish and I'm one with that in my heart, spirit, and soul. Gardens of the Moon, the first book in the Malazan series. I really am liking it. Erin, I know. But I said I put it down and I did and I still have, but I'm gonna pick it up. I promise. I promise. Just not right now because I gotta finish my other big fantasy book. And then Oathbringer, which is the third in the Stormlight Archive. She's not happening. Sorry. Love y'all the most. Love Brandon the most, but it's just not happening. The three that I think could happen. The Will of the Many. None Shall Sleep. Remarkably Bright Creatures. However, Remarkably Bright Creatures may not happen. It's feeling like a January book to me right now because I did start Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey for my Patreon book club and that's currently taking precedent. So I think what I'm gonna do is read Wreck the Halls tonight while I watch 
some of my backlist of my watch later over on the YouTube app and do that. Um, I'm still continuing on with my little screen time. So I've screened out for the day um, with editing that, doing like the kind of like work meeting and then just doing some thumbnail stuff on my phone. I need no big, I need big screens if I'm gonna watch something. I need no more small screens. So there is that for today. What else do I have to say? Cause I was gonna, I was thinking about yesterday. I wanna talk to y'all about something. Oh, so this is my favorite time of year. Um, I really love anticipatory times of year where the last two weeks of September are better than October to me because I'm anticipating October and I'm excited for October and the fall feelings. And you know, the leaves are changing allegedly. So it's most of the time when they're changing here, it's because the sun's burning them to a crisp, but that's fine. That's how I like it. And you know, we're starting to get the pumpkin flavored things and Central Market starts to have their pumpkin coffees out. Hello. And I just really like that. This last week of December, the last week of the year, is my favorite because of the same reason. Like those two are tied, but I really love this last week of the year. More than I love, I do not love December. I don't love Christmas time. It's very stressful for me, self-induced stress, but also I feel like societal too. It's just not, it's not as fun. But this, I get to just th really reflect on the year, think about my goals, think about what I wanna do with this next year coming up. And I'm just excited about it. I'm excited about 2024. I don't really know what it means for it to be an eight year. I'm excited for it to be an eight year because I'm an eight wing seven. So to me, all I hear is like, it's going to go well for you, hopefully. Uh, but <clears throat> I really, I am. I'm very excited for this year. And I'm excited this week to film that reset, get things going there. I do need to actually clean up some of the office. So I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. And then I do have just a little bit of filming that I need to do. Uh, and my best of 2023. I want to get that up on Friday. So those are the goals with this part of the year. And I don't think I'm going to read anything else this year that's going to end up being on the best of list. So yeah, I think, I think this week is going to be a good chill week. And then next week is the first week of the year. And I also have that off, which is nice. So I'll just kind of get things started with like some habits I want to get into and you know, organizing the videos and the all the all the different content that I gotta get organized and started working on. So I'm gonna go browse all of the hungry root dinner options that we have, see what we want to make for tonight, and I will check in with you guys. Okay, so hi. Look at the here's my w welcome to my desk. POV, you're me. Looking at my desk. So I um bought some bookmarks, got that loud on TV, from this shop. And I wanted to show you before I start reading my little book for the night. So obviously this is the, this is the vibe for 2024. This is the era <laughs> for 2024. And then I thought this one was really cute because it's giving spooky murder mystery, but also cozy vibes. So that's hopefully what I also am. <laughs> it's giving, it's giving. And then here's pretty much one of my only favorite kinds of romance to read. And then I thought this was cute because it's like spooky but not which is what I like because I like thrillers and gothic lit and that's not really that scary you guys and then we have cowboy romances because can I get a yeehaw in the chat uh no I can't don't please don't give me one but yeah those are the little bookmarks that I got I think they're so cute obviously the library one and the murder mystery book club one are my favorites whoa the ghost is in here but now I'm gonna go read Wreck the Halls, so. I will see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna do some planning, some filming for the reset video, and some cleaning. It's gonna be good.
I don't know why every time I do backlighting, I'm surprised that backlighting looks like backlighting. Um, hi. So, your girl is a little sniffly because we just did a cleaning session for the little reset video that I'm doing. So, that's there. But, we got donuts, so it's okay. I mean, I just got, I think it's like a half dozen of the donut holes. Yes. So I'm excited about that, but uh, I wanted to show y'all my Christmas present that I got. It's pretty exciting. So, first of all, the first one's hanging out right here. This is the fourth doctor. It's a Build-A-Bear. Yep, I'm 28. Thank you for asking. Uh, now I'm 28 and I can actually afford Build-A-Bear. <laughs> kind of. But this was the first gift that my partner got me and it's so cute look at his little sonic screwdriver i have it here because jake uh isn't trustworthy so we're gonna have to definitely clean up this nightstand because she is putting in overtime i cleaned up the whole section so now we just have my little kindle holder the essentials i still want to figure out how to organize these cords better but i kind of think it might just not happen because this is my phone charger and it's just long and then this one is to the heating pad and that's for the ginger and I don't really want to intercept that. Here we have a problem. I need to get a little basket to put that in just honestly so that it hides the cords because I don't care too much about cords but I just I do think that that would look a lot cleaner if they weren't all over the place and I don't really want to have to uh, zip tie them to put them together. But this, this is the present I got. And I wanted to use it for a few days before I mentioned it, but this is the Dyson fan and it's also a air purifier. Cause you already can hear, I have allergies and dog hair, cat hair, dander, all that stuff. It gets to me, I'm not allergic to it, but it does eventually especially when we like do a deep clean so like i vacuumed the carpets i need to shampoo them but i'll go rent that from lowe's in a little bit and by a little bit i mean a few months i'm thinking may may's a good month for that but we did the bathroom we did the dishes y'all saw little snippets of that the full montages will be in the reset blog if you're interested but here is my favorite thing that i've gotten and it is with a remote control which I just think is the coolest thing. So like, boom. And it's always hot here, so I like that I can have it on. But it's not so loud. Like, we had a box fan that was honestly fighting for its life every time I turned it on. Which I don't hate. <laughs> but I felt bad for it. But like, look, it even shows the humidity in the room which is helpful because i've been getting that dry throat dry cough moment it does oscillate but i don't like that so we're not going to be doing that but yeah this is how high it goes can y'all feel that breeze no i will tell you though that breeze is way stronger than the sound is if that makes sense like it is such a strong and it's very cold air honestly uh, and I obviously like that, but the sound is not loud. So I'm having to adjust because I've slept with a fan since I was a kid and it's always been like a fairly loud fan. And this one is like quiet on purpose. So I, of course I have it all the way up for the noise, but between this little fan and then my little hatch with the thunderstorm going on, honestly, it's a good combo. It's kind of the best. So I'm very happy that my partner got me this. I honestly could not believe we share an Amazon account, so I definitely got the confirmation email because it's like my account that we now share. And um, I was like, oh, are you serious? Because I mean, it's a, y'all know, Dyson is not, it's not cheap. And am I ever going to buy a Dyson Airwrap? Absolutely not, because hair, who cares? Put it in a ponytail. A purifier and a nice breeze in the summertime? Hell yeah. Sign me up. So anyways. I am now going to spend some of this morning, um, it's only 8.20 by the way, so I'm going to keep on reading Wreck the Halls and The Will of the Many, and hopefully I'll get a big dent to come back to y'all with.
Hello, is it me you're looking for? Even if it's not, it's what you got. <laughs> Hi guys, hello, hello, welcome, what? Welcome. It is so freaking cold, I'm just, no hands today. Okay, so I finished two books yesterday. Hello? Uh, yeah, we're getting to that. We're getting to that state. Where all I want to do, I'm starting to get out of caring about the Instagram and whatnot, because I told y'all last week that I was going to stay off of it as much as I could, just for my neuro things going on, and Jacob. I need to actually renew. I'm looking at my library books because they're right there in sight. I need to renew some of them, so we're going to do that really quick. <gasps> oh no. There's no renewal for the mysteriest? Oh dear. So I'm going to have to read that this week. So actually we might be changing the reading because I'm looking at it now because I wanted to tell y'all what my little plan was as far as reading goes, but it looks like we're going to switch out. I was going to try to read Into the Fire by Greg. Greg? But uh, that's probably not going to happen now because I have that one until, let's see, the 12th of January, plus I have one more renewal left on it. But the mystery guest by Nita Prose, which I really liked, The Maid, that one is due on the 2nd, and there wasn't a hold for it yesterday, but there is now. So maybe what I need to do is just, I need to stay on that and check periodically throughout the day and see if the person that has a hold grabs another copy because my library has 11 copies. Dang. So hopefully uh, someone will give them that book soon so I can renew it for another moment. But it's a short little mystery that might be kind of cute to start at the beginning of the year. But I really want to read two more books this week, I think. I finished... God, this is really bright. I'm sorry, y'all. Because you can't like literally can't even see anything can you no oh well there's the sun awesome that's so cool we're gonna ignore so anyways i finished wreck the halls this was my book club pick dang it got dark dark never claimed to be a lighting guru so literally can't even help you here with this anywho this was the patreon book club pick I filmed a little vloggy vlog for it i need to edit that and this was a moment. It I didn't like it. Uh, I've realized this is how my rating system is going to change in the new year. We are going to go with a cute, like, if it's a five star, obviously we're going to rate it five stars. If it is close to a five star, but it's just not quite there, I probably have a reasoning for it. We'll do a four star, 4.5 star. Anything else? To me, a three, two, and a one are basically all like... They're different variations of because I'm really looking at reading books for enjoyment. That's what I rate my books on. I'm not looking at reading them for I'm not analyzing the syntax or the prose or the thematic elements and statements and how those progress throughout the novel. Like I'm just not doing that. Uh, I've done that for the majority of my life. Educationally, <laughs> I don't want to do it right now. I'm loving. I'm loving just enjoying books because again, I'll say it until I'm blue in the face or dead, whichever one comes first. I read how others watch TV. Like, I just don't really watch TV other than Real Housewives. Hey, that's different. That's different. That's my vice. But reading is my entertainment. I don't really go to the movies all that much, although I want to start again, so that may be changing. Because we have the AMC membership. Why are we not going weekly, if not twice a week? I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, I just, I read like I watch TV. So that's I think also helpful with my reviews are all enjoyment based. So there's that. Going into 2024, when I try to do more wrap ups as um, requested, which I don't mind. I just think my wrap ups are going to be more like this was vibey. This was not, you know. Anyways, this was not vibey. This was weird and cringy and I didn't like it. Uh, here's a problem though. This is the same thing with every Tessa Bailey book. At the beginning, I'm like, oh, kind of like it. Mm, like the writing style and then there's just a switch like 30 40 percent in it just stops being fun starts getting weird I don't like the word choices. I don't like her vernacular. I just think the, I don't like it. 
I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Especially like the spice stains. Ugh. So I just don't like it. <laughs> it's just my opinion on that one. But yeah, that was, that was definitely a moment. It was for sure not the moment. Here's the moment. Five stars, baby. This is actually a 4.75, but I've decided a 4.5 is different than a five, but a 4.75, round it up. Who cares? So this one I really, 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 really liked. I will say the beginning was more of a three and a half, pretty slow, kind of boring. The middle worked its way up to a four and a half, and then the ending was absolutely good enough that it kind of, this was gonna be a 4.5, but the ending was so good that I do think it kind of evened out the beginning for me leaving us at a 4.75, which I would round up to a five. I think if you have read Red Rising and enjoyed it, this would be for you. If you read Red Rising and you didn't enjoy the sci-fi elements, may I recommend The Will of the Many. It is like the same vibe, same kind of, same premise close enough that I do think it's a comp title, but it is not sci-fi heavy in the same way. There's a magic system, but I don't think the way that this magic system works makes it a sci-fi, if that makes sense. I think it's just a little bit more science fiction-y feeling than other fantasy book magic systems have been to me. But yeah, I thought it was great. I did like the writing style. I, at first, when I first started this, I didn't actually love the writing style all that much, but I feel like because it had a very distinct voice, but then I realized that voice matches up perfectly with our main character, and then I really liked it. Because it it was it was weird and a little bit drawing at first, like this lighting. <laughs> but it really grew on me, like the main character. I just liked it. I thought it was a good time. I do recommend it is a little bit of a long one, and I would say due to the pacing in it. I would say this until you're able to like sit down and read chunks at a time because if you read this as slowly as I did I think it took me like two two and a half weeks which honestly for what what was this like a four oh also y'all I read two epilogues out of this thing so that's how much I like this book okay because y'all know I don't read epilogues uh, it's 611 pages. I have read bigger books faster than this, um, but it's because I did it at a time where I knew I could like really carve out a lot of time for it. I will say it did make it feel like it was slower paced, but when I really was sitting there last night after I finished it and I just thought about it, I don't think that this book has bad pacing. I don't think that it is slow pacing, but I do think that there are parts where it could easily be put down and then it would feel slow paced picking it back. I don't know if y'all have that, but sometimes my own reading pacing will make a book feel like it's slow pace but it's actually not it's me it's i'm the problem so yeah those are the two that i finished thus far this week and then for the love of god we're gonna try one more time with these diddly dang clouds i am reading none shall sleep i wanted to finish off a lot of what i have currently read on goodreads and we are getting there for sure i may just clear off my currently reading shelf just to feel better about it but i am at 125 page count wise and it's pretty good we've already talked about this in previous vlogs but if you don't recall it's essentially the beginnings of the behavioral unit what is that there's something else in between it it's with the fbi and they have the behavior unit y'all know what i'm talking about come on criminal minds you you know you know yeah Quantico, Virginia, come on. So it's the beginning of that. They recruit two teenagers that have been affected. When I tell y'all this camera hates me, I really genuinely mean it. <laughs> In the middle of my sentence. They're like, actually, you're done. Actually, just check the pulse. <laughs> no one cares. Criminal Minds with two teenagers that were affected by a serial killer and they are investigating closed cases, but it plays into a current case and I'm going to literally fight the clouds. <laughs> what do y'all think about that? Is that too much? Is that a little dramatic? It's me. What did you expect? Like, that's just how it is. I don't know why it's so... It's not that cloudy outside. I really don't understand what's happening. Anyways, later today, coming up soon on the channel, uh, 
is like nothing. Although I, we do have a ginger vet appointment. She's fine. She's just getting her monthly little injection. And my partner is so sweet and taking her to that. And then my I ordered some markers that are good for the Amanda Rach Lee journal. And I think I want to clean out one of these drawers, make it my journal. I hate lighting. I hate lights. I want to be back in the Victorian era, actually. I'm going to go now because this is just making me mad. But <sighs> we're going to color later. That's all I was saying. Like the adult that I am. Hello, hi, welcome, welcome, you're entering the gates of heaven, because this is so over -saying. There we go, that's good enough, I think. Um, hi, how are we, how are you uh, this morning? We're about to go to, oh my gosh, I need to dust up here. What's going on here? Uh, anyways, we're gonna go to, what is that thing called? The grocery store, <laughs> you know, that little place. You may have visited once a time or two. Uh, we're going to go there. We're going to get a little second morning coffee there. And I am filming that for the reset. And the reset is done, thankfully. Um, I do like filming resets. But I just need to come up with like a solid structure. So if you have anything that you like to see in reset e videos that obviously the ones going forward for each month are going to have um, my TBR and stuff in them and I'm thinking about I was thinking about putting my wrap up in them as well I don't know about that anyways speaking of I finished this book last night four stars it was really good I really enjoyed this I'm definitely picking up the sequel I already have it my partner bought it for me for a present so yeah I'll be getting into this soon but I don't know when because I'm gonna start reading the mystery guest next for this one I really liked Honestly, everything about it. There was not really much of I didn't like. It even made me emotional with some of the things going on. That's one thing I appreciate is that in this, this is a YA thriller. I love YA thrillers. I think YA thrillers are some of the best thrillers because they're fun. I don't like super heavy thrillers. Um, almost never. The only super heavy thriller author that I like is S.A. Cosby. And that's because he's one of the best writers I think I've ever read. But... It is, his writing is very, 
intense and very like gut punchy and I think you really have to be in a specific headspace to be good with that. But if you are, Razor Blade Tears, highly, highly recommend. I looked at his newest one and I don't think it's gonna be one for me, but I hope that y'all enjoy it if you have read it because his writing is just phenomenal. But it is not the kind of thriller writing that I tend to go towards because I like thrillers as like a I don't know, like a fun little mystery with like a, the ante's upped a little bit kind of vibe. And then the YA version of that is great because it's that plus like comic relief and some fun in there. And I just, I just really like it. So this one falls into that perfectly. I really enjoyed the callbacks to both The Silence of the Lambs and Mindhunter. I thought that that was good. That was interesting and it was just done very well and the ending was perfect i will even say like our hannibal-esque character that's involved didn't like turn good which i thought he would because it's ya and that kind of cheesy stuff happens but it didn't he was like really crazy at the end <laughs> like full show okay full show of it and i was like tea so I'm excited for the next one. I don't know if this is a duology or if it's a very slow series. Like, they're not planned to be a series, but she's kind of planned it to be a series if people will read them kind of thing. But I will read them. I will read every single one because this is a good time and I would, I would highly recommend it. But now, let's go get groceries and we'll start the mystery list. Y'all, I found my new bendy tripod that I lost a little while ago because I cleaned out these two drawers and I think I haven't shown y'all what I'm talking about when I say this bed has storage. It's just a platform from Ikea and there's storage in there. So I've cleared, I'll show you this one because it's not super, super disorganized or anything but it's just this. I have book sleeves. Yeah, yeah, I have too many guys. It's not something I'm gonna solve though because I want them all. Then I have these two collections. And by collections, I mean like there's three in each bundle. Of They're just college ruled pages, notebooks, and I'm going to start taking notes while I'm reading so that I can hopefully do better reviews for y'all. And then this is my little bullet journal. This is my annotation pouch. And then some bookmarks back there. But that's just that. I cleaned that out. And by cleaning that out, I found this. But we just went to the library. And yes, I have a little book call for you. So let's see. Let's see how this works. <laughs> hey, by the way. How does this work? Okay, it's a little dark out here, so let's give it some light. Let's make like God and let there be light. Okay, there's that. Great. <sighs> I am getting ready for some sprints over on Patreon. Jake, come here, bring it in, buddy. It's okay. Um, getting ready for some sprints over on Patreon and we went and got a second coffee as a little treat and then we went to the library like I said and I got three books so first off let's update with the mystery guest um this is following Molly the maid she works at this hotel we're getting flashbacks into her past which I do enjoy and currently a author that was going to be speaking there dropped dead mysteriously so of course they're going to solve the crimes and I'm really liking it. I'm on page 75 right now. So just about that way through. Oh, Jacob. And 
there are 286 pages. So I think on the sprints I'm doing today, if we're, <laughs> if we're productive and not chatty, I will finish this. But if we're chatty, that's also okay because it's the end of the year and I'm like, this week, the end of the year week is one of the most exciting because it's like the potential of the new year. But then also it's like a very long Friday, you know, before the weekend. And it, that's just what that feels like. So I did get three books. First up, I got Raiders of the Lost Heart, which is a little new romance release. And do I know anything about it? No, but did I get it because of the cover and the title? Yeah, that's pretty much everything I do. And then this one is Echoes and Empires by Morgan Rhodes. She wrote the Falling Kingdom series. And I don't know what this one's about, but I really enjoy her writing style. And I saw the cover for the sequel of this at Barnes earlier this week when we went. And I was like, who's that? That looks good. And then I picked up Hail Mary because this is one that I've been wanting to read. And I have the audio of it. So... We're gonna do a little audio physical combo, a little one-two action there. But yeah, I'm about to go uh, set up my laptop for streaming and whatnot. I'm charging my, uh, what are those, headphones for it. And other than that, I think I'm gonna go buy this tracker sheet that someone put in the Discord because it's from Allie from Hardback Hoarder, I believe, but like, look at that. Isn't that cute? I wanna get the basic reading tracker, uh, which basically just tracks books read, yearly stats, monthly stats, new releases, transactions, library books, ARC tracker, and readathons. I'm not doing readathons anymore, so that really won't be a page for me, so I'll probably get rid of that. But I really wanna know about transactions and library books because of a project that I'm doing, so. There is that. I'm probably gonna buy that and then start setting it up on my laptop so I can have that because I also want to look at that for like monthly wrap ups because I wanna make my monthly wrap ups not just sitting down talking about books. Like I want there to be a section of books and then kind of like cleaning up things to move into the next month. And then we would do like the monthly reset with the TBR and the TBR jar and all these things, you know? I think that'd be fun. So yeah, I gotta get that prepped before this year comes. What was I trying to say there? I don't know, but I hit myself in the face. So I'm gonna go get that set up and we can add these books to my big old library stack, which honestly, Am I 100% sure where they're gonna fit? No, I'm not. Thank you so much for asking because I have so freaking many. Here we are on the go, on the go, guys. This is what I meant when I said like I wanted to kind of bring the camera with me more, except here's the problem. Oh, the parts of my house that I like the most are directly related to the ones that get the most sun because I am an easily burnt sun child. <laughs> Like, I love the sun, and it makes me not depressed, but I also am easily sunburned. Like, I feel like that was pretty self-explanatory. Y'all see how pale I am? Okay. Let's put these on the shelf. Good lord. So, here's the problem. I think what we're gonna do is a little rearranging so we'll move this here i'm probably only gonna finish one more book i'm thinking i'm gonna finish the what is it called molly molly the maid book so we can go ahead and put these over here stick that there so these are the books that i have currently checked out from the library and on my radar so and then these are the ones that i've read so yeah good lord okay by the by i am officially and by me i mean jacob is officially going to link his new bed down below if you care about it if you're interested because i think casper always does sales at the beginning of the year i've never worked with casper i've worked with this bed brand birch 
Birch Living, is that what it's called? But I have not worked with Casper. I wish, let's manifest that. But just for more dog beds, <laughs> not for human beds. We don't need a bed. He really likes it. He's definitely into it. I've noticed the other one we had, it was starting to lose its fluff, I guess. And he would be sleeping on the bed a lot more. But now he stays, like he does get up on the bed in the morning when he's trying to wake us up, I think. But he doesn't really care to be on the bed at night as much as he used to. So that is good. That is great. But just really quick, I'm going to try and finish this one today. And then I think instead of going into the year reading the Finlay Donovan book, we're actually going to go into the year with my goal in mind. So we'll be reading Empire of the Damned because I would really, 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 really like to purchase the Illumicrate edition of this book uh, because I have the Empire of the Vampire Illumicrate edition and I really enjoyed that book like a lot more than I thought I would. And it's a gorgeous copy. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend you go look it up on their Instagram because it is so cute. It really is cute. It's weird. It's white and gold with like black accents. It's it's so pretty considering what's in there. I'm not letting myself buy special editions of books I haven't read, including, which is gonna be hard because I don't really get arcs. And if I do, I never remember to read them. So I'm really gonna have to like work on myself and work on that <laughs> so that I can get some sequels, but also my net galley is so bad, y'all. I My percentage rate is so, so low. So low. Yeah, that's the plan for right now. I'm going to do a little bit of organization for that spreadsheet like I mentioned. And then it'll be sprints time probably. It's 1045 and we're going to do sprints at 12. So yeah, that's probably what I have time for. So let me go grab that coffee I accidentally left behind. And I'm going to get started on all of that. And I will check in with you guys later. Okay, I already forgot something. Oh my god. So, I did get book mail. Uh, this is Fair Loot Adult Box for December, I think. Yeah, we're pretty excited over here. This is a little card. And honestly, I feel like I'm going to be skipping a lot of Fairy Loot YA. Well... I guess you can only skip two, three or four, I can't remember the number, of adults and the kids. But my goal, which y'all would have seen in the reset video, is that I want to use all my skips for Fairy Loot for both boxes. And then just as many from Illumicrate as necessary, I suppose. But I'm really glad I didn't start that yet. And I wouldn't have knowing what this book is, because this looks so good. <gasps> and it's so beautiful. Oh. My God. First of all, if anyone from Fairy Loot is watching, please let the headquarters know that I am, first of all, what are you doing? <laughs> Second of all, I don't mean what I say. Yes, yes, I do, I, I do. But this edition, y'all did good. <laughs> this edition is good. I really like this one. I love that we're not doing purple. I know that purple is like the signature color or whatever, but like any other one would be great too. Are you joking? Like, let's, let me lower this so you can actually truly see what we're looking at here. Like, look at, the sun really said, let me help. Look how beautiful. Like, this might just be one of the prettiest books that I've gotten recently. Especially, thank God Fairy Lou is, like, not doing plain Jane black sprayed edges like they were. Because we all know they were. And look at this. Look, it's so pretty and this is one that I wanted to pick up so you know very lucky that uh, it came in this box because I wouldn't have been able to pick it up other than from the library which is fine we love the library but look isn't it beautiful I won't be using that side of the cover but I just love when they do a second cover on the other half because I just think it looks nice but the final strife is uh, one that I'm going to be reading this year, the whole series, because the finale is coming out, I believe. And I, based on people's opinions of the ending of the second and the ending of the first, I guess, it's a good thing I waited. So that's nice. I'm glad 
I accidentally waited, but I'm very excited. And now I'm excited to have this one too. And this one is, ugh, this is just so beautiful. Like I literally, I can't, I can't. I need to figure out where I'm gonna store all of my um, special editions that I'm getting from book boxes. Cause remember I said, if I mean, if you haven't watched the reset, I, I, I think you should. Cause I'm gonna be referencing it a lot, but I really want to, read them as I get them. And What the River Knows is another one I got, but this one is a Patreon book club pick. So we're fine there. And then Feybound is not a Patreon book club pick, but The Final Strife is. So like, I'm gonna read some of this author, but I really wanna read this one too, cause it just sounds so good. But I don't know where to put these maybe i'll clear off my tbr section in my office you know on that shelf that holds like most of my romance books and we could put them there that could work that could be a thing that we do and then i would also be able to see them but the only problem is the sun okay ginger the sun shines right there and i don't know if i want the sun to be shining right on these books because i don't want them to get sun bleached so hmm much to think about, much to think about, and I will think about it, but right now I'm gonna go organize these books because, well, not these books. Well, I guess, yeah, technically these books. <laughs> gonna go organize my spreadsheet, okay? We have a rare visitor. Yeah, hi. Do you want your heating pad bed edition? Or do you just want to like cause a little mayhem? Cause a little drama. Oh, really? Do you want to say anything to them? Do you want to point out the fact that you have food all in your nose? And somehow it's on your cheek too? Because why wouldn't it be on your cheek? <laughs> this is so funny to me. Because I was like, I want a different angle. But let me... Go. Look how y'all are situated. <laughs> oh, I really... <laughs> Hold on tight, spider monkey. <laughs> Oh, I cracked myself up. Party of one. So I am just sitting here. I don't know if I want you to see my side profile. Don't look, guys. Don't. Don't look. <laughs> I'm early to everything because of uh, I have anxiety. Hey. So I was fearful I'd be late. So I'm just sitting here on this little stream yard. I'm just going to mind my little business. But I was looking at not only, first of all, I'm a spreadsheet girl. Okay. When I was doing lesson plans, all of that, yeah, sure. We had a little thing we're supposed to put our lesson plans into, and I would, but my spreadsheet, the hyperlinks. I had a link for everything I would even think about that day, okay? I love those. I still have them. Am I ever going to use them again? Probably not, but I love them, and I think they look really good. So I was just looking at my content planner one because I wanted to see what's going on next week, and ooh, let me put in actually that I have that meeting meeting at what was it 11 a.m. on Tuesday and then on Wednesday we have the weekly vlog and then that Sunday we'll have the January TBR jar and we'll see about that I'm still debating if I want to do my January TBR jar or like my TBR jars and the monthly reset separately and maybe include the wrap up in the reset I'm st I'm thinking that that layout makes the most sense to me, personally. Back to what we're really here for. I set up my 2024 reading tracker. I'll link it down below, the one that I bought off of the Etsy, but it's really great. And really the ones, I got the basic, I think. It's not, like, the other one had too much. There was too much going on and I was so overwhelmed. I was like, oh my God, I don't even care about that many things. I don't even know if I care about this many things, but we're gonna do it anyways. I don't really care about the arcs. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna hide that. I'm gonna hide that sheet, I don't need it. And I don't really care about new releases either, except I kinda do because of the new releases one actually is good. I'm gonna use that for keeping track of my, what is that called? <laughs> Special editions. We're gonna type those in there. That's actually perfect. And I am gonna roll over these ones from day, I don't know the day, but I'm gonna roll over the ones from, what's it called? This month to next month uh but i'm gonna roll all of the ones that i got from probably november and december of 2023 over to the one that's going up like 
in January. So it's going to look like I have more, but I don't. So yeah, there we go. That'll be perfect. Okay, let me type these in really quick. What the river knows. Where did I get this one? That's probably fairy loot too. It's pretty. No shade to a little crate. After the forest. You know what? We'll put a study in drowning there too. I know that's definitely not from anytime soon, but whatever. I want to really make a point to read more of these that I own because I need to like stop owning them if I don't like them. You know what I mean? Just taking up space. Just taking up a bunch of bloody space. Okay. So, I think that's all I have in front of me right now that I haven't already read. Anyways, I just want to talk about the library book section because I put in all 15 physical ones that I have out right now. I am not going to put in the audio or the ebook ones that I have out until I'm actually currently reading them. And I've decided for this year, I'm not going to add anything as like read or currently reading, I mean to the vlog or to Goodreads until I'm 100 pages in because I just pick up so many books and put them right back down. It's ridiculous. But I added all the 15 physical ones that I have out right now. And you guys. <laughs> Putting in all the prices, I have almost $300 worth of books checked out from the library right now. And I didn't pay a diddly dime. And if I added those audiobooks in, because I do have an audiobook of some of them as well and of many others, oh my god, it'd be crazy. It would be so much. Should I track the audio as well? I feel like if I actually use it, I should track it. That would make more sense. Duh. But anyways, yeah. I just thought it was cool. That was really cool. And I wanted to tell you about it. So, there's that. I am going to probably finish up putting in those releases. I'm gonna rename this because releases isn't good enough for me. I want new releases. And then I will be done with my little spreadsheet. I just wanna get it kinda updated before the year actually starts so that we start with it organized. Oh, bestianas. <laughs> We're almost done. So just got off sprints and I am on page 214 of this guy. So I've got about 60-ish pages left but we're gonna go make a single shot of espresso and we're gonna put some oat milk with it and some joy and some love and that's the plant she's so pretty <laughs> is she okay i don't know uh but yeah we're just gonna make a little drinky drink because I honestly I need it and I uh, said so so that's why we're doing that okay Jesus a little bright but this is a cup that my partner got me for Christmas sorry I'm booked <laughs> do you get it so funny okay let's see the beanage that's probably all I need I don't actually know. I could just pour a little bit more. I'm currently using this blend. It's not my favorite, but it's it's okay. It's pretty good. Um, I definitely sweeten it probably more than I need to, but who's going to stop me? Absolutely no one. So I guess we'll do that really quick, and then we're going to make... Do I want to make a shake in espresso? No. That'll send my heart into cardiac. Okay. Uh, we're gonna make that and then we're gonna go finish the book and then we're gonna have dinner and then we're gonna go start another book. I really love when I remember that reading is my TV <laughs> and then I do it because I'm just so happy that I'm reading guys. I just am.
Hello, we've had a bit of an outfit change. I'm now in my dark. And my hair is up. Um, but that's because we got down to business. Very serious business. I did have a, a little bit of a panic because I forgot to take my morning medicine. So I took it really quick and I'm gonna have to stay up just a little bit later tonight so I can take the evening dose um, at an appropriate time. And then I'll be back tomorrow. But, oh yeah, we finished it, buddies. Uh, this is, first of all, I think more mysteries, especially cozy mystery variety, embrace it. Be under 300 pages. Don't be shy. Do what you should do. It's under 300 pages. The Misfortune series by Janet DeLeon, another cozy. By the way, don't ever pick up the cozy mysteries I talk about if you don't know what you're getting and you want that from a cozy mystery because, like, I don't know. I feel people with this one and Finlay, I'm noticing more and more that... They're definitely cozies, and I think people just may not like cozies, which is fine. But then you're not gonna like those ones. Now, The Thursday Murder Club is a cozy book. Would not say it's a cozy mystery. I do think that's more of a fiction cozy mystery instead of like the actual genre. You know, another A Deadly Inside Scoop? Cozy mystery. You're probably not gonna like that if you don't like cozy mysteries and you only like mysteries. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not a Ruth Ware moment. It's a cozies. Anyways, this is cozy mystery, guys. Don't pick this up if you don't like cozy mysteries is what I'm trying to get at. Because this one was even more within the cozy mystery uh, subgenre, I guess, than The Maid was. And I liked it. I had a great time. It was a fun little read. I read it in a day. And I would recommend if you enjoyed The Maid slash if you like cozy mysteries. There's a little bit more emotional depth I want to say than I'm used to. I read a lot of cozies that are more comedy based like Misfortune is very comedic. Um, there are moments but they're not as frequent as this one but I really liked it. It was a really good time and we've now had dinner. I watched Zavid react to Paranormal Activity Marked Ones which is my favorite in the uh, series. If you haven't seen that highly recommend. And now to start off, well, to end the year, right? And start off the next year even better. We're going to crack open a 700 page vampire book. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. See, I didn't even think about that when I changed into the shirt, but it fits. The vibe fits. So I have a water bottle filled up. I have this ready to go. And I have my nice red light, which you can't see because the other light's on, but we're going to turn that off in a second. And we're just gonna get into the cozy vibes because we need to go to bed early tonight because I haven't been. So, yeah. Yeah, I have to stay up a little bit later because I have to take my meds, but we're gonna be prepared to go early because I I need sleep, y'all. I just do. Oh, there's something on the spine of this. What the heck is that? Oh, it's like something from when they mailed it. How odd. Anyways, let's get to it. Hey MTV, welcome to my room. Um, hello, fair folk. I am here. We're gonna do some backlighting because when does that not look beautiful? Okay, so I am looking for a hairbrush. Uh, oh, it would be over here. Okay, <laughs> found the hairbrush. <laughs> Cool. So I just woke up from a little, a little nap. Mind your business. Sometimes, you know, we have to take these things. Honestly, it's a really good thing because my medication makes me a napper and I was already <laughs> born into a, that role in life. So worked out good. Didn't have to adjust. I see a lot of people with the same meds and condition have to adjust to napping and I'm just like now I just have a reason <laughs> now people aren't I actually no that's not true people still say like I could never nap I just can't be lazy I'm like shut up <sighs> okay anyhow mm. I am putting my hair up because I have decided 
very sporadically, honestly. What does it matter what this looks like, Olivia? It doesn't. I have decided that I want to organize my coffee bar underneath. Going into the new year, I want a new bar, new me. So in the next vlog, you know, we'll start off the vlog making coffee in the new setup, but you'll see the setup as it gets set up today. There's a hair on you, one sec. Got it. So I am today gonna finish out this book, Cajun Fried Felony, <laughs> okay? And one of y'all did say, you don't get to just put this cover up there and then like not elaborate. It's a cozy mystery. It, there's a lot going on. Uh, these are the kind of cozy mysteries I like. The hu humerical kind. That's not a word, hey. Uh, but I've decided because one of my go-to lifestyle girlies uploaded a refresh reset. That's going to make me feel... Like I want to refresh and reset. I uploaded one. Hey, why are y'all watching that so much, by the way? It's like doing really well. What's going on? <laughs> but I'm going to watch hers. It's 57 minutes, so that should be long enough to organize everything. But I'm gonna just show y'all real and raw and uncensored. Like, it's really messy under there. It's got all my Stanley Cups, which... I thought I had more than I did. I'm very proud to say I don't have, I have more than I should, but not more than I thought that I did. <laughs> Cause I, have y'all, y'all come here. Have you seen the people that have like a wall of them? I'm not judging. I am curious. <laughs> what are you doing with all them? Them talking about me with my books. Like, let's be honest here. I don't know what I'm doing with all them either, but I just think it's so many. It is, it's it's a lot, it's a mini, it's a mini. You know, it's kind of funny because like people collect books and the purpose of books is to read them, but when you collect them, you don't read them. And then people collect reusable cups. And I think that joke writes itself. I do have a good few though. I have the favorite child. And then I have a few other ones that vary in size, you know, because Sometimes I want a little iced coffee one. The 30 ounce ones are the iced coffee ones. The big ones are the water ones. And then my mega pint is the uh, the one. It's like 64 ounces. That's when I'm like, okay, Olivia, you got to drink water today. Like you're dehydrated. <laughs> Let's drink some water. And that's when I break that one out. Honestly, I might break that one out today and give this one a wash because... It is time for that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna organize that. I'm gonna change it to some shorts cause I'm not, do I want to? It's kind of cold in the house. And also I control the thermostat. Not you, dad. <laughs> hey dad, if you're watching, how are you? How's work going? Um, I, I will just turn the thermostat down actually, but we're getting Chipotle. As my partner said, uh, we're not getting any more Chipotle after this for the rest of the year. And uh, that's the plan. So, yeah, let's go organize my life. Okay, so this is the current setup we're working with. Uh, obviously, she's staying. She's a star. This, I'm just finishing this out. Like, we're just getting done with her. This is the fave decaf. Love, 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 love. Uh, this is a giant white chocolate pump. I don't think I have to explain myself, if I'm honest. This is my Breville Touch Barista thing. This, she's iffy. I don't know, she's not going right now, but she may leave. Then this is obviously an espresso. This is leaving. So I am going to be keeping the brown sugar, my cute bear, that is just decor, but I like to have joy. That plant will stay. This guy's going, well not him, he's staying forever and ever, amen. You know what, we'll just put him right there. Why not? Uh, this is going because I literally don't use it. And then this will stay, but I'm gonna put it under as for the shaker and the cinnamon sticks and this vanilla and the cinnamon and the such and the like and the whatever. And then we already know, right? This is a bunch of straws, lids, what not. This is a bunch of espresso pods. This is a bunch of liquid IVs that will be changing. And then 
This is uh, the junk drawer, but make it coffee edition. Because <laughs> what are we doing with it, guys? I don't know. Surgical precision. I'm filming. That was for the camera, babe. And I'm just gonna cut your voice out and leave all this in because the cryptid will stay the cryptid in 2024, baby. Okay, this is like the worst surgeon you've ever had. This is the one that like two stars on Yelp. <laughs> you think of a surgeon's on Yelp, you shouldn't go. Oh, you're leaving. No, <laughs> bye. All right, now that we can speak freely. <laughs> Seriously. Would you go to a surgeon on Yelp? Comment down below. Um, I don't know what my plan is. Oh my God, stop. Don't act surprised. You knew I wouldn't have one. I don't have little picture plan. I have big picture plan, baby. I have, this is the end result. How are we gonna get there? A jump, hop, and a skip, and a leap of faith. <laughs> That's how we're gonna get there, champ. Okay, so both of these, the whole point I brought you here, you're like, am I being held hostage right now? Yes, you are. Um, are you having a good time? Do you need a water or anything? I don't wanna be rude. Okay, so this needs to be washed. I found out people pronounce wash with an R sometimes and I can't stop doing it. It's like when I found out how Australians say nar. Like what a beautiful way to say something. Okay, shut up. Let's get to it. So I have two of these guys. They are engineer genius, probably. I don't really know. But they do this and they're named Susan and they are lazy like myself, so I like it. I don't know what we're putting here, but I'm wondering if Stanley's fit in here. Cause that could be accidental genius, which tends to be my brand. Baby, when I tell you. Okay, what about this big guy? All right, all right, we're pushing it, but like Corbin Blue, I'm gonna push it to the limit and make it work for me. Okay. But we're not gonna push it too far. <laughs> we'll put a different water bottle there. But look at that, boom, water bottle central. I just want this to look organized in here, not like crazy town USA, which is what it currently looks like. Um, and then I have this big old guy, which is not opening, probably zip tied. Oh yes, it is. So what I'm gonna do with this, these are all from Target. I'll link it if you want these. They're from Bright Room, which is honestly, I'm really liking Target's Bright Room little collection thing to organize stuff. Um, but you just gotta buy it really intentionally. Otherwise it kind of makes everything cluttered in and of itself. You know what I mean? But yeah, let me get some scissors or a knife. You know, I don't really know what we're gonna be using here. It might not go well, but it might go really well. And isn't that the joy of life? Accidental genius. Oh, okay. Let's start out on an even plane. Boom. I don't know what to tell you guys. All right. So this one, I want to put coffee in. I want to put my bags of coffee, grounds that I have. I want to put like supplies that I use in my coffee, the such, the like, the whatever. Um, we're gonna have to get down into it though. I'm gonna have to show y'all what I'm working with because it's not good. Uh, let's just say that, it's not good. It's, it's something, but good would not be the word I'd use, you know? So first and foremost, let's turn this lighting up so we can really expose myself. Uh, I actually don't think it's as bad as it could be, okay? That is a random liquid IV bag <laughs> that I got and we're gonna get rid of it. So already, boom, moves. These are some, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that cup. Cause I have a place where I put those cups, but that one doesn't fit there. And so then to me, I'm like, well then you don't need it. Spoiler. 
And then there's some syrups that I'm not going to use because, hey, they're gross. So, unfortunately, a lot of this is stuff that I tried and I didn't like the taste of. And I feel bad throwing it away. But, you know, <laughs> I got to because I'm not going to use it. And then in here, these are like backups I want to use, but I just haven't yet. So, we're going to organize it, okay? That's that. I guess... We'll just unload everything that I'm gonna keep. And then we will figure out what to do with what I'm not gonna keep. I think that makes sense. This is, this is the mega pint. I don't even know if y'all can see this. This is greatness, honestly. How many ounces? Yeah, 64. Get you one of these. You'll never want for water again. That's all I'm saying. Okay. See, I had these cups saved. These are trash. Um, but I saw a girl on Instagram who was making copycat dupes and she saved these to measure them but i also realized i don't like the way that starbucks measures so to the recycling it goes Ooh, i forgot about these we're gonna do some straw replacement yes go through your stuff y'all you're gonna find some good things now what are you y'all think i can use two of these little Bad boys by uh, July. I don't. I was just looking for this in my dreams. I'm actually not kidding. I really did genuinely have a dream about these. Does matcha go bad quick? Oh, 2025? I should probably worry about that shelf life, but whatever. Not going to. So I have lavender. We could get closer. I don't know why I'm camera shy right now. Uh, yeah, this is some lavender matcha into water. Are you telling me there's already oat milk in here? That's weird. Why'd you do that? I'm just gonna put it in more though. And then we have a strawberry one. Okay, I'll try anything matcha one time. And then a blueberry. I think I'm gonna like the bloob and a lavender. I'm not sold on the strawberry. It's got a weird energy about it. But I'll try it because... I wasn't raised a quitter. Okay, we have that. Don't know why we have that, but we have that. This is something I wanted to bring out. I have these cute little espresso cups. What are you guys gonna do when I turn into like a, an actual barista? You're not gonna know what to do is the answer to that. Um, these disgusting, disgusting syrups. Don't ever look at them. Don't ever look at them. Um, I can't even explain to you how that what happened happened, but I thought I was buying uh, sample sizes. I wasn't. Ooh. Is this another water bottle? Yeah, it is. Dang. One thing, Liquid IV, they're gonna send you a water bottle, man. Every time. Every time. All right. So I got some Halloween cup action. I like them. We'll keep them. I think they deserve to stick around. Okay, sweet otter cake batter blend beans. This stuff is delicious. Ooh, best by 25. Here's the thing though. I know you're supposed to use your stuff quick. You're not supposed to have a bunch of what is it called? Bean on hand or anything like that? Okay, these are also real good if you want to try Emma Chamberlain's coffee. This is the Fancy Mouse Espresso Blend. So we're going to keep these and I'm going to try and use them real soon. We almost just lost the soldier there. Okay, Fluffy Lamb. These are also good. Cool. That going... Oh, I did not like this. I'll tell you what. Oh, here's a bag that's done. Cool. Look at that. 
Hi guys, welcome to Beauty YouTube 2018. Here are my empties. It's just bags of coffee. Um, I am going to try to find someone who enjoys toasted hazelnut and apple pie. It's not me. I like the syrup, I don't like that. Okay, found that out. Here is what I will recommend to you. I don't know anything about matcha, okay? So don't, don't think I'm an expert. I, you didn't, but just to reassure you, I'm not. Their vanilla matcha, quite good. I would, tr would continue to buy, and I, I do. Haven't tried a chocolate matcha before. Not sure if I would have if it didn't just come in a thing where I wanted the candle she was selling. Um, so we'll see what's going on there. Could be good, could, could not be. To be honest with you, oh, here's another one we're not keeping around. This is a goner, for sure. This? I don't know. If I was chai, I'd be offended. That is so sugary. That is like, you just slurp up sugar in there, okay? I don't recommend it. I don't. So, oh wait, I don't want you. You stay here. I'm just gonna put this Chamberlain coffee back up here because it feels right. And I'll put the matcha up there too. Because that also feels right. And mainly it fits is the main reason. I don't really, it doesn't really feel any different than anything else, but it fits. And I like that. So let me show you. Uh, too many cups. Not gonna get rid of any though. I love them. The little clink clink. Makes me a little nervous, but I like the sound. And then we have all my matcha. A very slow spin. Let's move you over a little bit there, babe. And some beans. And I like them. And then up there, we have a, what is that? Can y'all see, can you read that for me? Oh, Cassandra Clare. And another freaking Stanley Cup. How'd that one get there? <gasps> Did you put that one up there? Oh my gosh. Jake Contraband. How could you? It's okay, it's a nice color. Okay, so what we're about to do, that's done. She's over, over and out, partner. I'm gonna clean out these. That's boring to watch. I'm also starting to sweat a little bit. So I'm not gonna show you that, that show, but I will come back once that is commenced and we'll get a cute little montage of me organizing things. Yeah. Okay, look, I got some new pants and I got this new shirt from Hollister. Who knew they would be such a comfortable brand <laughs> for me all these years later. Um, hi, so we've been away for a second, but I am freshly showered in my pajamas and it is only 4.40 p.m. And I love being this person. Like I love <laughs> being in bed and ready to tuck in this early. Like I just do. And yeah, it's New Year's Eve right now as I'm filming this and I don't care. The ghost is in the room with us though, so there's that. I'm currently editing this vlog actually. Hey, so this is obviously the last clip. I'm into it 53 minutes so far out of what is right now 100 
no, not 100. What is <laughs> right now an hour and 26 minute vlog. But obviously it's gonna be a little longer because of this. Um, I am not done with the coffee organization like I wanted to be. I think I am done but I'm not 100% sure and I want to like clean up and wipe down some things before I actually show you guys like the finished product. So I will be doing that in next week's vlog. So you'll see that next week. So it'll be the continuation of this saga. Uh, but after I finish, I'm just gonna do the rough cut edits of this vlog. I'm not gonna actually watch it back. Cause I think I've told y'all before, but I was talking to one of my friends who was like, if it's over a certain amount of time, I don't watch the video back. And I totally get that. I wish I could do that. It's not a perfectionist thing in me. It's like a, a paranoia thing in me. <laughs> it's like, it has to do with like being worried something's wrong or like miss said or just like whatever we've talked about it i'm in a really good headspace right now though so it's not as worrisome but i still do it anyways out of habit because if i break the habit then i will probably not go back to it because that's a personality type that i am i am going to just do the rough cuts cutting out some like random pauses and whatnot and lay over some music i may look for new music i want more jazz music I really like doing instrumental music now for my reading vlogs. Like, so when it's reading specific, right? And then I like doing, oh gosh, what is it? Like, my kind of old school Cody Francis is the artist that I used a lot of in my other weekly reading vlogs when I did those. Y'all remember those? I like doing, in my lifestyle ones now, more of that kind of music. So reading vlogs are like instrumental classical sound and then i like doing what music with words and whatnot in my like lifestyle -y reset spend the day with me productive day with me vlogs because i just feel like it fits the vibe and i think what it is in my weekly vlogs is jazz music works for me all the girls that i watch do lo-fi and i love that because it fits their vibe so perfectly like mckenna walker i'm watching her right now she just dropped a three hour and five minute vlog y'all watch out that's the goal for 2024 i'm not kidding like i really i want to break a two hour vlog in 2024 i really do uh and we have some changes coming up so that there's a there's a chance that's gonna happen but we'll we'll talk about that we're we're gonna not talk about it till it happens Hey, but by the way, why did the time just turn 444 when I said that? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So anyways, I hope you guys are so excited for the new year. I hope you guys, uh, whether it's, you know, like excited for personal goals, for reading goals, for just like things that are happening. The potential of a new year is always so like, mm, I just love that. And I hope you're having a good and safe and healthy time with it. This time of year is so rough, like Christmas is so rough for so many people, including myself, and I'm so happy that it's over. I'm not going to lie to you. I always go in with the best intentions, but it just, it's never what I have had in the past, and I don't think it will be, uh, but I, I'm not going to stop trying. I'm going to keep trying to make it like as best as possible because it's better than um, not for me, but it's just not, but this time of year, right after, mm, it's perfection i'm so happy so yes i'm i'm having a good time uh the only thing that i'll be finishing up is cajun fried felony if you care so we'll have totaled this vlog out at five books this week and that's pretty impressive kudos to me i think i'll end the year reading like 132 133 books nice then we'll get back into Empire of the Damned. I haven't fully started that yet. That's going to be, I think, my first book of 2024. Just really ring it in with a good vibe. Uh, but I hope you are having a wonderful, amazing day. Make sure that you drink your water and stay hydrated. Be kind to yourself and others. Lead with empathy and all that jazz. And I, I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to have a good year on purpose. But we'll start out with having a good damn purpose. Like, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Smart goals. Smart goals. Is that something that the girls say, right? It's you're supposed to be measurable goals. Whatever. We're going to have a good time. We are. So, 
go forth, prosper. Bye. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun.